Alrighty, so we got a battle report. This is uh, Troll Bloods versus Troll Bloods. So this is to decide who dominates um, the Troll Bloods and who leads the um, Troll Bloods to victory. <laughs> yeah, right. All right, Chad, you want to go over uh, what you have here? Okay, got the war wagon, okay. uh, battle engine. Uh, you have the Mountain King clock gargantuan. I have a minimum squad of Krill Warriors. I have Gunbjorn, the greatest troll <laughs> warlock of all. And then I have a, a minimum unit of the Krill Stone Bearers. Okay. And uh, plus the UA. It looks like you got Janessa yeah. in there too, right? Oh, and Janessa, yes. Sir. Yeah. It's kind of hard to miss her. She's yeah. the only unpainted one. By the way, Chad has painted both of these armies. So I have, um, I am doing. Um, just prime uh, Grim Angus, and then I have a Mauler, and a Bomber, uh, and an, an Impaler, and an Axer. Then I have a full unit of the Burrowers. I have a uh, Fell Collar, and then I have a unit of uh, Whelps. So I have two out deployed, um, and then three back over here. So the scenario is, um, close quarters and so we have two flags here um, it's there's kill box that going on we need five uh, five points um, you can dominate uh, your flag and get a point or you can control the opponent's flag for two or dominate it for three so um, Chad got to go first so we'll go from there All right, so end of uh, turn one for trolls. So nothing really big happened, right? I mean, everything kind of moved up. You unloaded your uh, fury onto the stones. Um, that trampled up and then shot, right? Yeah. And Trample shot, 10, shot 14. And so fine. shot over here, uh, hit three of them, and then uh, he made his tough roll. So um, that's kind of about it. That's where we stand, so nothing too much. Okay, so here we go. Um, uh, end of Trollblood's turn one, right? Mm -hmm. um, so nothing kind of really happened. I just moved up, ran up these guys uh, into position, ran up him. Grim Angus put ran up and did return fire on those guys. Um, the burrowers uh, burrowed and kind of moved up, and that's kind of about it. So that's where we're squaring off. So, all right. Okay, so it's the end of Chad, the Whelp Killer's uh, turn two. So basically, you can see he kind of moved up. Um, so let me think. This moved up first, shot at um, Gunborn, or uh, Grim Angus, and did a little bit of damage. He returned fire, shot at him, did a little bit of damage. Um, let's see, these guys kind of ran up. Um, Gunborn then fired uh, over here, killed a whelp behind here. Um, I'm trying to think of what else we did. Put up walls and then pop feet. And I think since he fired at him, I returned fire yep. and I shot yep. at this, did a couple points off of it. He popped the feet, um, basically killed whelps. And then this is, that wall actually ends right where that is. No. It's just a mystical floating wall. Um, so then the Mountain King. Uh, did a spray on to this dude, did like 13 damage or something, so then I popped out a whelp. Um, and I think that's it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure we don't have to worry about kill box type thing. I don't think so. Okay. It would be... Right. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Alright, so we're going on to trolls, turn two. Alright, so uh, end of Trolls, turn two. Um, so let's see kind of what happened. Not really anything that glorious. So these guys popped out and uh, they ended up charging the um, wagon. Charged a couple guys over here. They basically did couldn't do anything to the wagon. It was kind of ridiculous because uh, he had that armor bonus on him. Um, so we did kill a couple uh, troll uh, warriors over there. 
And we did give them the bonus um, from the fell collar to hit. And the fell collar actually uses spray to kind of try to murder <coughs> something over there. Um, he just moved up over here. So the bomber then proceeded to try to take off the wagon. Um, and I couldn't do that either, even though I hit twice. My goal was maybe if I could kill him first, and the mauler might be able to go all the way over to the Mountain King, maybe. It was kind of rough. If I, uh, I could have got a speed bonus here and maybe a speed bonus over there. But, so I decided I just had to kill that thing. So I had to send the mauler in to kill the wagon. Uh, this guy actually moved up, tried to shoot the wagon, couldn't. Uh, Grim moved up. I, I cast Mark for Death, thought it was just a hit thing, but you have to wound him. Um, so then I ended up just popping my feet to kind of prevent him from uh, charging or moving up. So that's kind of where we're at right now. Uh, no points. We check distance here. I'm within 14, but not completely within. So we're, we're good on distance there. So, all right. All right, so uh, uh, turn three and uh, turn three for... Trolls for Gunborn over here. So let's see the um, the Mountain King because my feet just stayed still, and then fired its um, spray. spray on him. Did like 16, 12 damage or something. Ended up transferring it over to the bomber, um, and then let's see what else. Uh, the um, you shot the bomber. Stone bearers ended up moving up, charging. Um, they killed, I think, one, one of the dudes. Uh, didn't do anything over here. The other warriors ended up charging over here, killed a couple of the uh, bearers. Um, Gunborn ended up uh, shooting him, did some damage to him. <clears throat> and so I popped a whelp. Um, and then he put down a wall. And then Janessa um, came up, did a wall. This is a short wall that ends about here, uh, over in that area. And then that's kind of about it. So um, we'll, we'll see where we're at. Alrighty, so this is the end turn, of the... Saved you. Yeah. So this is the end of the game here, so let's wrap it up and see what happened. So I had all my burrowers uh, burrow to kind of get out of the way. Then I had uh, this, the Axer, move up, slam a warrior into Gunborn, and which knocked him down. Um, he was able to attack him by an attack off uh, on him also. Uh, the bomber was able to move over, hit him a couple times, do some damage. He made a tough roll. Um, and then finally, um, Grim Angus came over, shot him, and he finally failed a tough roll. So, um, so I think, so my feet placement was probably pretty good. Well, because I, I had you in range for a charge, but your yeah. feet shut him down, and that from there it was just picked me apart. Yeah, so that was a big thing. So, um, and then what do you think you'd do different with your list again? Oh, uh, well, at 50 points, I'd put a bomber and an impaler in yeah. to pair with him. Oh, right, yeah. Maybe another <laughs> war beast for you would have been. Definitely. Because he, he had, really hard. He, he was maxed out, and he was cutting to get fury, so even though he had one transfer left, he couldn't transfer anything over there to that, so. Good game. Yep.